All right, welcome back. This is Seb from Hunt and Chive Investments. Uh, today's episode, we're going to work on the starter for this 07 Honda CRV. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to change out the starter. So, if your car does this, listen carefully. A little hesitation in the starter there. I had changed out the battery. I also changed out the put a new battery in uh, battery is good uh, obviously the way I do it is if the alternator is working fine it should you know the starter cranks the motor starts the motor using the battery once the motor is going you don't actually need the battery anymore so I think it's the battery issue comment below if you think I'm wrong but, but let's uh, go through it and how to change the uh, starter in this 2007 Honda CRV EX model, um, moonroof, uh, navigation, all time wheel drive, all that stuff. Okay, let's see. Okay, the way I'm gonna do is there's a couple ways to do this. You could take the um, starter from below, you take out it's it's really hard. 1A Auto does a good video on how to take it from the from the bottom, and they're based here in Massachusetts so. Uh, good uh, video shout out to them um, but I'm not gonna do it that way that's kind of uh, less taking off parts but the problem with that is um, it's less room for movement so the way I, I'm doing this one in this video is I'm gonna take this whole air intake off I'm gonna take the throttle body off as if you know if, if you see my other video how I switched out the uh, heater pipe when then this went out in this car this such car uh, let's get to it. We'll take some uh, some things off here. I'm actually going to take off these columns. Uh, these are just tabs. And there should be seven of these, so four in the front, three in the back. I got this handy dandy tool from Amazon. I'll put the link below. Sometimes you have this little flathead here. Kind of helps with the prying up these tabs. You can't get to them. Get them out any way you can, basically, what I'm saying. Any means. With the tool, so basically it comes with all the tabs and everything. And it came with this tool. I mean, uh, yeah, this tool. So I'll put the link below too with them down for that. And if you use the link below, this app supports the channel. So it basically uses the link. There you go. So I just break them up because I'm going to put new ones in anyway. So it just comes, comes right out. No. 
get to the crux of the matter. Uh, I think they recommend you disconnecting the negative wire for this um, disc because we're going to be working on electricity, basically the starter. So I'm going to disconnect that. It's just a 10 millimeter holding the battery. I'm gonna get a towel and just set this aside as well. Okay. 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 So disconnect the negative. Just set that aside so it doesn't touch any other wire so it doesn't create a complete circuit. Alright, let's keep moving on. We're gonna move these acorn nuts. It covers the uh, air intake um, manifold there. So These are 10 millimeters. Acorn nuts. Get them out of there. And I usually put the uh, acorn, whatever ball I take out, I usually, if I can, leave it with the part they came out of so I don't lose them. Not that crazy where I have to keep label everything. I'm not going to do that. I just at least we'll have an idea of where all the parts go. You know, do a lot of jigsaw puzzles. Same, same thing. Figure out where you need to put them. And back. Now, let's work on the rest. Because what we need to do is move the throttle body that way we can get to this uh, air intake and that's where the, the uh, starter sits. So let's move it along here. I'm just going to do it. Some sensors here. Make that little pry bar again. Hmm. All right. Need another tool. This is an angle needle nose. Angle to that angle. The tab for this thing is like way in there. So let's take a look. Let's move this mat sensor here. It's very on there, huh? Let's see what we're doing here. Now where there's a clip down here, use this needle nose to get that out of here. So all I did was with this needle nose, I pinched this together so it slides right out. Whatever I don't need, I'm gonna remove. As I move along here. So 
So I got the three, you got the two nuts up top off. You got the three bolts on the bottom off. So you think you're done, but you're not. There's um, one single bracket that holds this motor mount way at the bottom there. I'm not sure where that is. Subscribe to the channel. See where this is. It is that one right there. Is it? So that is a 12 meter, 12 millimeter that holds to the um, bottom of the air intake manifold. So that's pro tip number five. Remove that, then you can remove the uh, um, intake manifold. Don't be surprised the bolt comes out like this. Um, looks like it's pretty melted on there. And then just squeeze in like that, okay? Like that. So, you gotta take a couple bolts out. Um, let's see here. The bracket. Held up by this one, the so 12, and the way out there. So that one. So that is a 12, and that one's a 12 too. And it goes right back here. So in there. So that's uh, pro tip number five, take the 12 meters off of that. And I kind of have to peel back the, the mud flats for this car right there. I'll peel that back just enough to stick my hand in here. Okay, here comes the throttle bob is going to come out. So, a lot of work. Okay, comment below which one's best for you guys. You take it out from the bottom to get the to the starter. I'm taking the throttle body and the uh, air intake and everything. I don't know. Either way, it's work. I don't think I have a good solution. But this is one way to do it. Snap the bend on EO. Comment below what you guys think. Let me just slide right out. There it is. Up. It's kind of a weird angle. I usually get new gaskets when I put new ones in. Them. It has the um, throttle body. I mean the um, air intake gasket. Take one of these and uh, go get a new one. Also, you can order this from Amazon too. I'll leave the link below. And the reason I bend this back, you'll see in a second here. I'm gonna remove the egg and intake manifold. So I'm just gonna keep wiggling it until I get it out. So I do it the way I do it is I, I'm Bring the uh, air intake this way. This is where the throttle goes. Over the top, like so. Yep, sit. That's why I told you to remove this. There it is. Air intake. No crux. Here's where the, the bottom bolt was, it was holding the bottom. And here's the back I just took. So there is the starter. Um, put it here. Let's 
side is being held in by a 17 inch millimeter here, and then the back is a 14. Disconnect all the wiring. Uh, disconnect the, uh, I want to say this is the map sensor. No, it's not the map sensor. Maybe knock sensor. Let me know, comment below what, what sensor is this one is going right into the motor block. It's right here. Okay. I have it's gonna pick that. Get to know what that is, a map sensor or knock sensor. That came out of there, that's that plug. Disconnected that one. Now this wire harness down here was connected to this bracket here. I just press the tab on the bottom. See the little tab on the bottom? Okay, that one. And it just slides off the, the bracket here. So I'm gonna work on taking out the 17 millimeter there, and there should be a 14 behind here. Um, I think you probably can't see it. It's back here, where my finger is. It's a 14. One of the videos I watched, uh, 17 and 14 in the back. So that's the window. All right, we took out the starter. There it is, and it's gonna go back in there. So basically, to put the starter back, is we're just gonna do reverse what we always did. Put the uh, 17 millimeter in front, and then actually, both on the um, power connector there, the one I'm pointing at right there, with the um, wire loom. Both on that first, put the uh, starter back, put the 14 in the back, and put the 17 in the front. And basically, we're gonna do the reverse of what we did, okay? So the one I got from Amazon, this one, uh, doesn't really look like the OEM one. This is the OEM I bought from a local um, auto parts store. As you can see, it has a little tab here. as the um, power wire goes here from Amazon. I'm gonna have to return that one. It doesn't seem like it's the same. So we'll pop this in. This, this, There's two options for these. You can get the remanufactured re one. What you basically do is you, you take your old one to get charge your four dollar car charge. They'll just refurbish the old one basically and resell it to back to you for one hundred sixty dollars, um, making a profit. So one win for them. But this is a brand new one. Uh, I went with this one. This is a little pricier, two fifty nine. It is my wife's car, so I'd rather just you know it was such. Uh, it required some work to take this thing out. I'm not rather not go back so many times. Uh, both they told me at the store that they're both lifetime warranty. So I'm just went with the new one. Um, I'll pop this in. This this one for two fifty nine uh, as a brand new one with the core. Basically means the old one. That's what I mean when they say the core. So we'll pop this in. This is the new one, brand new. It's not remanufactured at all. And this is by um, I want to say don't quote me, Denso. Denso makes these. I'm going to definitely have to re return that to Amazon and maybe get a credit because usually with Amazon, if you order and then you know decide that you don't want it within 24 hours, they give you a full credit, full full refund. But uh, because it's more been, been more than three days, they just credit me for that. I'll just return it and then they just credit me. All right, let's pop it back in. All right, there it is. It's back together. So, okay, everything's back together. Um, covers back on, air intake back on, throttle bodies back on, um, airbox, battery, everything's in place. Let's see what we can do now. Well, I remember how it sounded last time. Let's see what it sounds like this time. Before it's like, uh, 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 no, it's da -da -dum. all right. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this channel. Um, 
If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Again, this is Sid from Hunter and Child Investments. See, stay tuned for the next channel.